Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to On The Spot. We are live back in the GameSpot studios after a crazy week at E3. Hope you folks enjoyed all the stuff coming out of there. We are still putting stuff up. But, you know, we thought that we're back now. We're getting settled in here. What better way to recover from E3 than with just a whole bunch of bug killing, building destruct, destroying, awesome action. Ben Etheridge is here to deliver just that. Ben is the senior producer on Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon. That's right. Ben, thank you for joining us here. No Brian, problem. I'm calling you Ben. You Your know name what? is Brian Etheridge. It starts with a B. It's fine. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> uh, but I got the Earth Defense Force stuff, right? Yes. Killing yes. bugs, destroying yep. buildings. Yep. Give people the overview for folks who aren't familiar with the series yet. Sure. Uh, so, you know, 300 plus weapons, uh, four upgradable armors, thousands of bugs. I mean, it's a, it, it's a game done by the numbers, really. I mean, seriously, Earth Defense Force is all about destruction, mayhem, and, and tons and tons of action. I mean, it's nonstop arcade style shooting game for the whole time. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's, yeah. let's start it up right now. You folks can sure. get a taste for it. So here we are. We're deploying. Yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, going to go ahead and jump in. So I am playing here as a, uh, as a jet armor. And uh, basically, in this section of the sea, we're here in the financial district. And uh, all of a sudden, well, bam, what happens but a bunch of uh, creepy Some crawlies giant coming ants, along. A huge wasp there. Yeah. Oh, and, gross. Uh, and uh, basically, you know, the whole thing about Earth Defense Force has always been that the environments are very, very destructible. Um, everything blows up. Everything, you know, sort of comes falling down. And, you know, there's, there's just basically tons of things to shoot at any given moment. Um, I'm playing with uh, Mike is on, the, uh, on the other guy over here playing as a tactical armor. Yep. So tactical armor specialty are turrets. Uh, right there he's got a turret that he's just dropped down. That's handy. And uh, that's very cool because one thing that we're doing that's new this time around is sort of differentiating the classes. So my guy is playing as a jet armor. Obviously his ability is being able to fly. Yep, floating around and yeah. you're sort of hovering too a little bit. Yeah, so you can uh, you could fly but it ties into your uh, energy uses which also reloads your weapons so you got to sort of be careful about that. Manage that resource. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, so it's definitely one of the more advanced classes. But you know, when you get up here and you just have uh, tons of uh, you know tons of stuff to be uh, just raining down Rain. on the enemies, yeah. then it's you know it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty powerful. Now speaking of raining things down, you're you're using what appears to be some sort of purple energy cannon thing. Right. Um, so the the jet armor's weapons tend to be energy based. Right now he's using a Goat Shrike missile launcher. Uh, Goat Shrike will fire off uh, three independent missiles that will track independent enemies and kill all of them if, uh, if it doesn't damage If they don't hit jump. a building first yeah. and <laughs> level that. And knock the building down with one shot for some odd reason. Um, yeah, but I'm also using a, a Lycanzite and that, uh, that is more like a rocket launcher. Oh, wow. <laughs> there yeah. goes that building. That was and, effective. Um, yeah, right now we're fighting some biomechanically enhanced ants and some wasps and... Uh, so is biomechanical just code for they're freaking huge? Uh, or they're, are they shooting back at you? Yeah, there? these guys here are the sort of the second tier ants. You'll see these guys have uh, sort of a metallic appearance to them. They have this big glowing red eye. Um, these ants are sort of our second stage ants. They're a little more ferocious than the first stage ants. Mm -hmm. um, in Earth Defense Force 2017, we had like black ants and red ants. This time we decided to sort of carry the whole, hey, it's insects and robots into the game a little further. Okay. So now we have like, you know, insect robots. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so, so, you know, the sort of the enemies go through these different stages. They'll become, you know, sort of enhanced and, and more powerful. Um, you'll get, uh, you know, standard wasps like that one that's chasing us around over here. Mm -hmm. And then you'll also get some biomechanic biomechanically enhanced wasps that have laser beams and razors and... You know stuff like that. I mean, it's it's really it's meant to just feel like wasps a wasps with laser beams. Yeah, you know, like a like a campy B movie. You know, like a sci-fi movie that that you love from when you were a kid that your dad you know rented when you were at home sick from school or something like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, so those ships are enemies as well. Yeah. They're, that is that more the robot faction. Yeah. So yeah, they're all ravagers. So everything okay. is ravagers. Basically, what's happened is is these ravagers, this alien race from from outer space, has come to Earth and has decided to sort of um, speed up the uh, the insects uh, evolution and uh, give them a little helping hand. Yeah, give them a little know, helping hand. Make insects them grow are a the faster. most numerous on, on the planet, exactly. but they're not exactly you know building. Yeah, they're sprawling continents with cities. And exactly. Whatever. So the the ravagers wanted to sort of change that, so they're sort of enhancing these these bugs. And uh, right now you can see this is a oh, this is what we call a, a, a bomber spider. 
Uh, bomber spiders are nasty because they'll shoot these little tiny baby spiders out of their back. A spider that shoots baby spiders? I think you just described my wife's worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's everyone's oh, worst gross. nightmare. Oh, gross. So them. there they are, and, and, and they're the smallest, actually the smallest enemy we have in the game. But what they'll do is they'll jump onto your back oh, there. Oh, that's uh, cute. They're giving you a hug. If you tap fast enough, then you can get them off, but I, I never seem to be quick enough. <laughs> um, but, you know, we'll, we'll take her out here and see what we can do. Uh, Mike has got a turret that he's dropped down that's going to sort of help take care of the ticks for us. Mm -hmm. and then, um, if, I can, if I can stay on my A game here, then um, I will try and dodge everything that she's uh, thrown at so me. So you're sticking it to this big spider currently. Now we've seen ants, wasps, spiders. Mm -hmm. But the, the insect kingdom, as we mentioned, is vast and yes. multifarious. Can you, are we seeing like stag beetles in here? Like what kind uh, of? We have, we have some, uh, we did introduce some new things this time around. We have big giant daddy long legs. We've got some, uh, I'm gonna go grab some health right now because I'm about to die. Uh, we have a giant robotic praying mantis. Thanks, Mike. Ooh. And, uh, and some, other, some other sort of new additions to EDF that weren't there before. Um, yeah, you know, we do focus on sort of the more creepy crawly things. You won't see pill bugs because, I mean, I don't think anyone's really afraid of pill bugs. They're almost adorable. They yeah, roll up right? and do a little ball. You can <laughs> flick them around. Yeah, so, you know, we do try and focus more on things that are a little, a little nastier. So giant spiders and, and ants and wasps and things that I think people are just generally get the, get the heebie-jeebies from. And because they're, like, those, are, those things are in our daily lives. Those <laughs> yeah. get into my apartment. Now, there she goes. She just popped. So, of course, a ton of little baby spider is going to pop out from where she was. Yeah, go, go fly away from those. Yeah. Those are gross. Uh, not, so you're that. playing here with your buddy Mike. Yeah. And, uh, there he is. Hi, Mike. So this is, you know, like its predecessor, EDF 2017. Insect Armageddon, definitely yeah. a cooperative focused experience. Yeah, so the big thing that we wanted to do this time around was um, answer sort of everyone's request for live play. Um, everyone loved the last game. The one thing they said, you know, it's great that I could play with my buddy on the couch and and uh, you know, play co-op that way on split screen, but why can't I play over live? And so we, we made sure this time we've got Xbox Live and PlayStation Network play. Um, up to three players um, in campaign, you can play the whole game start to finish um, you know, with, with three people, or you can jump into survival mode, which is a cool little extra mode that we have, and you can play that with up to six people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so survival mode up to six people. Now, does survival mode, mode just sort of look like this? You know, you're in a in a fairly contained area, dealing with um, just waves and waves of This is actually, ravagers. this this level here is a little a little more contained because of just trying to um, sort of show off the, the turrets and make good use of those and turrets. And the destructible buildings. Yeah, uh, the, the survival mode, the way it works is, yeah, you sort of dropped into the middle of a section and everything just comes at you from every angle. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's just sort of like endless, endless waves of enemies and you basically have to sit there and, and see how long you guys can last. I mean, the challenge is really, you know, uh, do I decide to help my buddy and revive him or do I just let him die so I can get more points. You know, <laughs> so I think I think there's you know there's there's some, some tough strategy. decision making. That had, that <laughs> there's some there. strategy there. There's one of those stage two losses that just took off, but these guys just came in, so we're gonna hammer them with these uh, any aircraft turrets that we have. Here. Yeah, because they're just releasing a whole fleet of those guys. Yeah, so we, we you know we, we try to uh, we try to maintain the sort of the uh, the insane numbers from 2017 and make sure that you know there's always something to shoot at. There's always something that's gonna be pestering you and and try to give you a hard time, and that's sort of what EDF is all about. It's, you know, it's very non-stop, and there's always something to be shooting at or trying to kill or something that's trying to kill you. That certainly seems to be the case. Now, folks, we are live, and we are taking your questions. To send us one, just use the Ask Us a Question button on the side of the page there. We've got one coming in from Chris, who wants to know more about um, armor upgrades. Sure. Uh, so, and, and player um, advancement, that kind of so, thing. So basically this time around we introduced uh, armor types. You know, before in Earth Defense Force 2, which was only released in Japan, we had two armor types, uh, mm -hmm. Pale Wing and Storm 1, which was basically, you know, a flying person and a trooper. This time we decided to bump it up to four, um, which is something we didn't do in 2017. Uh, so now we have, oh, I just died. Uh, now we have a jet armor, which is, uh, you know, specialty is flying. We have a tactical armor that Mike's using. His whole specialty is turrets. Okay. Uh, battle armor is a And big, you're back. Yeah, there we go. Um, battle armor is all about uh, sort of tanking and having the most hit points. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, Trooper Armor, which is very much like Storm 1, uh, he's a very handy guy to have in a group. Um, upgrades happen by, you know, killing bugs and getting points, and then you get to spend them on, uh, spend those points on weapons, and then if you earn enough experience and you gain a level, then you get all the, all the abilities. 
So we're seeing, you know, we've seen uh, sort of a rocket launcher type thing, a homing uh -huh. missile type weapon. Can you give us a taste of what other kind of weapons are in store? Sure, there's six different weapon categories, and even within the, a single weapon category, they could vary pretty widely. Uh, we have rocket launchers, which don't seek missile launchers. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, turrets, uh, grenade launchers, grenade launchers all shoot homing missiles, I mean a little bit of everything. It's, it's just sort of a, sort of the sort of general mishmash that EDF is popular for. Um, everyone sort of has their specialty. So this guy, he's definitely, uh, he's definitely a energy weapon specialist, but his big thing is sniper rifles. So the, the thing that you could do with the jet armor, a great tactic is, you know, head, head up onto the top of the building, stand up there and, and just let everyone have it from up above. And, and yeah, you've uh, been f so you've been flying around as a jet armor. You know, you're using that that boost to scoot around on the floor mm -hmm. or on the ground, and then you're getting sort of high up. Are, can you get can you get high enough up to perch on top of a yeah, building? Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, we do have like a little a little ceiling, so it's not too unfair for um, other people. I probably won't be able to get to the top of this. That's one. a pretty tall one. Yeah, that one's pretty tall. So one, is that yeah. th that meter on the right is the yeah? So the little is your meter, energy for yes. your jet. Yeah. So the little meter receiver on the right. Every every armor class has that, except for the trooper armor. Um, for the jet armor, basically what it does is it, it sort of gives you um, it gives you flight abilities and it also limits um, your your energy for your weapons. So um, if I go to reload here, it'll also take off a little chunk. Mm -hmm. And if I hit rock bottom on that, then I won't be able to fly for a little bit. So that's why jet armor is definitely our advanced class, and you definitely want to sort of manage um, you know manage your energy usage with this, with this guy. You gotta be a little, little, a little more mindful about that. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna jump to this one at first and then they're gonna realize he's, he's kind of a tough cookie and uh, I mean he could definitely do huge amounts of damage but the, the probably the best beginning class is like the battle armor or something that has just like a ton of hit points. So you can just stand and deliver. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. definitely the idea. Alright Brian, well we've seen the financial district, can you give us just a tease of what other environments we might be uh, fighting in before we wrap it up here? Sure, yeah, we're always going to stay in New Detroit. The whole thing is that, you know, you're sort of defending the city of New Detroit, but you're going to go to different areas. There's, you know, some sewer sections and canals, and you're going to get into the residential area. Uh, there's like a warehouse district that has like a totally different vibe from this one. And, you know, you'll see little differences like, you know, the people running around and stuff and sort of how populated the areas are. But it's all in the city. I mean, everything is in the city because it's tons of fun to be able to see these gigantic buildings just, just take a, you know, <laughs> take a dive and go yeah, down. And, and so, you know, collapse. yeah, so that, that is nice. part of what makes EDF EDF. So we didn't want to sort of take it out away too much. Great, Brian. Well, anything else you'd care to mention before we wrap up here? Sure. Uh, we're coming out July 5th. July 5th. Uh, it's yeah. right around the corner. It's right around the corner. It's got an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And thirty nine ninety five, which is nice for uh, those people like me that need to be a little conscious of what they're spending. Absolutely. Who so, doesn't yeah. these days? <laughs> Brian Etheridge, thank you so much for bringing yeah, by no Earth problem. Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Thank you. Cheers.